Okay, y'all. So we're going to talk about properties of whole numbers. Today we're talking about this closure property. And more specifically, closure property as we apply it to multiplication of these whole numbers. Okay, we're also going to show that it does not apply to um, division. In our addition, closure property of addition, we showed how it doesn't apply to subtraction. But today we're going to only talk about the division part here. All right, let's get into it. So the closure property for whole numbers under multiplication states that if you have A and B that are two whole numbers that are elements of the whole number, then the product A times B will be a whole number. The product will also be in the set of whole numbers. All right. So to put it to practice, um, we're going to use just these numbers here and you can play around and do whatever you want to and use it yourself in practice. So let's say I have, um, I'll take five times six. If I multiply five times six, then I will get back 30. Okay. So the product of two whole numbers is also a whole number. 30 is a whole number. Let's see here. What if I did one times 10? Well, one times 10, that product would also be 10. And that product 10 is a whole number. Okay. So no matter what the whole number is, you will always get back a whole number. Mm -hmm. No matter how small, one times 2,000, you would get back 2,000, which is also a whole number. Now, real quickly, I'm going to show why th th this does not apply to um, division. Okay. We're going to apply the closure property to division to see if it even works out. Um, I'm telling y'all it's not. So let's go back real quick. We said that if 5 times 6 are multiplied together, then we're going to get back a whole number. Obviously, it's 30. 30 is a whole number. But let's say we want to divide. What is 5 divided by 6? Well, 5 divided by 6, that's actually a fraction, 5 6. Or you can look at it as a decimal. But it's not a whole number. It's a fraction of a whole number. Um, so that will not work out. Okay? Um, also, let's see here. We can use 10 uh, times 5. Oh, hold on. I don't want to do that one because that's going to give us a whole number back if we divide it. We can do 10, uh, we'll do 5 times 10. All right, that looks better. 5 times 10 is 50. All right, but if we were to divide 5 divided by 10, okay, this is 5 tenths, which is 1 half, reducing it. But still, we don't have a whole number, so it does not apply to um, division does not apply to division. It only applies to multiplication here. Only applies to multiplication.